Eric Ten Hag's thought process on Bruno Fernandes's pair prepare for new Man United era. New Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag rates Bruno Fernandes very highly as they prepare to work together at Old Trafford. The Portugal international has struggled for consistency this term under both Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Ralph Rangnick. However, on his day, he remains one of the best players in world football. Manchester United recently tied Fernandes down to a new contract, with the Portugal international a key asset for the future. And, now, the Telegraph say Ten Hag rates the Portugal international very highly as they prepare to work at Old Trafford together. Fernandes recently scored his 50th goal for United in their 3-0 win over Brentford on Monday night. And while his stats aren't as high as a year ago, following the Hollywood homecoming of Cristiano Ronaldo, he's still stood out. Only Ronaldo has scored more than his compatriot, with the 37-year-old notching 24 goals from 37 appearances. Eric Ten Hag, Man United S25 man squad for next season with six signings for Nandes, with 10 strikes to his name, has bagged the same amount as Jadon Sancho and Marcus Rashford combined. And, when it comes to assists, the 27-year-old has clocked up 13 across all competitions, four more than Paul Pogba. Fernandes has attracted criticism for his erratic displays for United this term under both Rangnick and Solskjaer. However, under Ten Hag, fans can expect the former sporting Lisbon star to be a key figure as they look to win trophies together. The onus will be on United getting good quality players around the Portugal international, especially with several stars likely to depart. Don't miss Ten Hag's 10 transfer targets at Man United explained Anthony comments suggest Ten Hag reunion at Man United is possible Man United have five players who can be amazing under Ten Hag Paul Pogba's days at the club are winding down, with the France international, yet to pen a new contract. And Manchester City are now eyeing the 2018 World Cup winner on a free transfer, even if Borussia Dortmund's Erling Haaland is the club's priority. Nemanja Matic has already confirmed he'll be on the move, with Jose Mourinho looking for a reunion with the midfielder at Roma. And Juan Mata is set to depart as well, having waved goodbye to fans after his fine performance against Brentford earlier in the week. United are being linked with several midfielders as they look to get the best from Fernandes in the coming months and years ahead. Think you know sport? Test your sporting knowledge with our tricky quiz Wolves star Ruben Neves is one player on their radar, though Bruno Lage has implied he will only let the Portugal star depart if they receive a dizzying offer close to pounds 100 million. United admire both Declan Rice and Calvin Phillips, though West Ham and Leeds respectively are reluctant to lose their prized assets. And who they end up signing remains to be seen. Meanwhile, speaking on Monday night, Fernandes admitted he was targeting the big trophies as United look for a better future. Last game of the season at home, we wanted to give a good result and good performance, he said. Want the latest football news? Join our brand new Facebook group by clicking here Paul Pogba's days at the club are winding down, with the France international, yet to pen a new contract. And Manchester City are now eyeing the 2018 World Cup winner on a free transfer, even if Borussia Dortmund's Erling Haaland is the club's priority. Nemanja Matic has already confirmed he'll be on the move, with Jose Mourinho looking for a reunion with the midfielder at Roma. And Juan Mata is set to depart as well, having waved goodbye to fans after his fine performance against Brentford earlier in the week. United are being linked with several midfielders as they look to get the best from Fernandes in the coming months and years ahead. We know our standard has not been the same as we expect, but last game of the season we finish well at home. Now we have more games to go, so focus on those. We know that we always have to give something. The fans have been amazing supporting us. We know that our season has not been at the level it should be but there is nothing we can do now but finish in the best way possible, win games and after think of the next season. It is a long time since I scored. Obviously I am happy, but those numbers don't count for me. I want to get numbers with trophies and not with goals.